The second assault on uh, the judiciary of Pakistan by General Musharraf was for only one reason, and that was that he was petrified that the judgment of the Supreme Court was going to go against him. And so in the garb of fighting this war on terror, and this war on terror is his only legitimacy uh, as far as the West is concerned. So in, in this garb of fighting this war on terror, what he has done is that he has unleashed brutality that has not been known in this country before. The sort of suppression and oppression that is going on right now, anyone and everyone has been put into jail. The police raided my house and the way the police behaved uh, with my family members and looking for me, the way they have picked up members of, of the human rights organizations, women have been picked up, all of them thrown into jail. The way the lawyers were beaten up today in the high courts of Pakistan, it shows only one thing, that what he's hoping is that through sheer brute force he's going to suppress this dissent that is going to be, that is being raised all over Pakistan against him. What we intend to do in Pakistan is to start this movement where, where the whole society is going to be involved against him. This will entail everything, civil disobedience campaign, it will involve the students, it will in, in, involve civil society members, it will involve all the political parties. And what we intend to do is to make sure that first of all, no one recognizes the pocket judges of General Musharraf. These judges are known crooks in Pakistan who he has put in this place simply because he will bulldoze everything to them. He knows that these judges will say yes to everything he wants them to say. And secondly, what we intend to do is that we intend to make sure that this movement goes on despite all these people put into jail. Almost all the heads of the genuine opposition political parties have been put into jail. And we want to, we'll continue the movement, but to the Western audience, I want to say one thing. This is, he's not fighting a war on terror. All he's doing is, he's trying to prolong his dictatorial rule. And the longer the United States supports, supports him, the more the chances are that Pakistan will go the way Iran went under the Shah of Iran, where an unpopular dictator was supported by the Americans against the masses, and eventually what was a democratic movement turned out to be anti-American and anti-Western movement. In Pakistan at the moment, there's still time. Uh, if, if, if the Western countries understand the dynamics what are happening in the Pakistani society, they will come to the aid of the people of Pakistan. They will not again reinforce a military dictator. We don't want lip service. This uh, just slap on the wrist by Condoleezza Rice in this emergency and all the draconian laws, the suppression of the media, the, the suppression of um, uh, the, 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 the judges, the, the, the lawyers, civil society, human rights organization. This is not just a simple thing like saying we object to it, they should, be, they should mean business and they should oppose him and stand with the people of Pakistan rather than with one man.